right, guys. So, remember how I said we were going to keep up with these on a daily basis? <laughs> well, on this day, which was Tuesday, our dryer caught on fire. <laughs> So I've been a little consumed with that for the last few days. Um, fortunately, uh, nobody was hurt, you know. Um, basically what happened, I went outside to check on the laundry. There was a towel stuck in the um, dryer door. So I don't know if that made it where it couldn't, you know, tumble properly and it overheated. I'm not sure. I just know that... I was sitting at the kitchen table that morning checking some emails and I started smelling smoke and I was like, what in the world? <laughs> and uh, fortunately too, our washer and dryer are in our garage, which it's right outside our kitchen door. It's attached to the house. Um, and little fire safety reminder for you guys, if you do not have a fire extinguisher in your house, get one. Had I not had the fire extinguisher, um, it would have gotten to the house because of the amount of time there was. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bentley. He's trying to say hello. <laughs> okay, sorry, you guys. Um, so anyways, um, not only that, I was not doing any sort of regular routine that day. Normally, I have little man there will get on his bus. I will drop my other son off at school. My other son is in high school. And I will drop him off. And then I come home and normally... I go for a run. <laughs> Hang on, buddy. <laughs> okay, so normally I go for a run. Um, I'll cut the, I'll turn the dryer on. I'm one of those people, I'm bad about turning my dryer on um, and either leaving or going to bed. <laughs> and so the other thing that I've been doing lately because uh, been a struggle it's been getting colder and so I just come home and I get under the covers on my bed and I take a nap <laughs> well I'm so glad that that particular day that I had a whole different routine I mean well I didn't have a routine I just had a whole different you know day going on um, and I was happened to be sitting right here when I smelled the smoke so that's another thing that saved it but it could have been so much worse it was just contained to the dryer it was scary because every time I would use the fire extinguisher the flames would come back and it got to the point where I did not know if I was going to be able to contain it before the fire department got here. So, um, which the fire department got here in a very quick time. It just felt like an eternity. So, anyways, um, that means we're going to try four cups of tea today. Yay! <laughs> so, at least I'll be a little bit hydrated. So, we've got November 3rd. And um, this is an herbal tea. It's rooibos, rose hips, hibiscus cranberries natural forest berries flavor natural jasmine flavor lemongrass marigold flowers natural lemon flavor natural vanilla flavor blueberries blueberries <laughs> it does it says blueberries blueberries uh sprinkles and corn flour so a lot going on in that one and if you already watch community tastings from other people you already know what it is because i'm a little behind so <laughs> sorry you guys so that is tuesday the third Wednesday the 4th is another herbal and it is honey bush tea, apple pieces, natural apricot flavor, apricots, and marigold flowers. Yesterday the 5th, which was Thursday, is a green tea and it's just gunpowder tea. That's simple. And then today, Friday, is the 6th and this is a black tea and it's black tea, orange, rose hips, hibiscus, ginger, cloves, cardamom, natural caramel flavor, cocoa nibs, Natural chocolate flavor, natural vanilla flavor, natural cinnamon flavor, natural orange flavor, cinnamon, and I can never say this word, aniseed spice and cocoa nib. So another interesting one. All right, so let's get started with November 3rd. Hey guys, so we are here back with our November 30 um, that has steeped up this, kind of has a little bit of a red tint to it, I'm guessing from the hibiscus, so definitely smells a little on the fruity side, you can smell the rooibos, 
So um, this is the one that has the Roybus Rose Hips Hibiscus Cranberries, Natural Forest Berries Flavor, Natural Jasmine Flavor, Lemongrass Marigold Flowers, Natural Lemon Flavor, Natural Vanilla Flavor, Blueberries, Blueberries, <laughs> Sprinkles, and Corn Flowers. So yes, Blueberries twice. We said that earlier. So anyways, let's give it a taste. So very hibiscus heavy, I guess you can say. Um, you taste the rooibos, you taste the hibiscus. Um, I'm guessing the cranberries. Um, I'm not getting a whole lot of anything else out of it, but I kind of like it. Um, I know a lot of people have like this huge aversion to like hibiscus teas. I guess because so many teas put hibiscus in it because I guess it's like a cheaper way of making your tea kind of fruity or red or whatever. Um, I don't mind it actually. So I like it. I like that, you know, it is a fruitier tea. I bet it would be good iced. Um, but I don't mind this one. Um, I'm trying to see if anything, I can slightly taste the blueberries coming out in it now. I mean, it has blueberries twice, so <laughs> it has more blueberries. <laughs> so this is pretty good. So we're going to go to the computer. We're going to figure out what our November 3rd tea is. I kind of like it. So this is probably one that I'm going to write on and I'm probably going to get this one because like I said, it's pretty good. It's kind of fruity. Um, it's like a fruity rooibos. So anyways, hang tight and we'll go see what we're drinking. All right, you guys. So our tea for the day is called We Are All Mad Here. And by the name of it, I am guessing that this is, um, it's definitely a fandom blend. And I'm guessing that it is um, one from a collection. As you can see, everybody uploaded their photos. Um, for this one, I need to do better with the uploading of the photos for my community, but um, this is probably part of a collection of, let's see, Alice in Wonderland tees, and there you have it, yes, yeah, so there are some more um, if you wanted to get the collection. I love Alice in Wonderland because I am a Disney fanatic, but um, yeah, so I'm trying to see, sometimes they'll tell you like the different teas that make up the fandom blends. I don't really see that on here though. But yeah, so it's called We're All Mad Here. Um, like I said, it's very fruity. Um, you taste the rooibos in it, but it's not like a huge amount of rooibos, but you definitely know there's rooibos. Um, but I like it. I'm going to say I loved it because I actually did. So we're going to click that on there. And stay tuned. We have our November 4th tea. All right, you guys, we are back with our November 4th tea. So here it is. You can see it's like an amber color. And this was our tea that had honey bush, apple, natural apricot flavor, apricots, and marigold flowers. So here it is. Let's take a sip. Still kind of hot. <laughs> you definitely taste the apricot in it. Um, I don't really taste the apple. Apricot is just basically what I taste. So it's got apricots pieces and apricot flavor, and that's what I taste. So if you love apricot, you will love this tea. Um, I think it's good. It's probably not one I'm just going to buy just because apricots are one of those fruits I can, you know, take or leave. I don't really care. <laughs> but it is a good tea, so... So that one's very nice. I really, I do like it. Um, but like I said, it's probably not one I'm going to buy again, but um, I do enjoy it. So this is a good tea. Um, you know, with it being a honey bush, it doesn't have caffeine. So if you're just wanting something to sip on in the evenings um, or for the afternoons, if you're, you know, sensitive to caffeine in the afternoons, um, then yeah. So let's go and see exactly what this tea is. Alrighty, here we are at our trusty computer, and we're going to scroll down to November 3rd. Um, as you can see, I'm quite a ways behind my um, uh, community here, but anyways. So it is Honey Bush Apricot, so basic, you know, tea. I'm going to say I loved it because I did like it. Um, I wish I had like a like it and then a love it, because to me, love it means, oh my goodness, I can't live without it. 
but I don't hate some of these teas. <laughs> so anyways, just going to say loved it because I do like it. Um, so yeah, a fresh apricot um, and honey bush. So that's our tea for November 4th. All right, guys, we are back with our November 5th tea, and this is the one that said gunpowder tea. So it's a green tea, of course. And so it steeped up this very golden color and smells very much like green tea. So we're gonna take a taste. And it's basically just green tea. Um, definitely get that very green vegetal taste to it. I actually like this. I, I love green tea. Um, this is nice. It's just a simple green tea. It's not too over green. You know, like some people kind of get, um, I guess people who aren't really green tea fans, they don't really, um, care for green tea because of the very, very, um, I guess like my husband says that algae taste to it. <laughs> But this doesn't have that. It's just, it's really good. I like it. I think I would love to have just like a simple gunpowder green in my collection like this. So um, yeah, I like this one. And we're going to go um, head over to the computer to see exactly what this is. All right. So basically what it says, it's gunpowder. <laughs> so just a classic green tea from the, I don't know how to say it. Um... J J okay, I don't know how to say that word. Please help me, guys. <laughs> uh, province of China, as the name implies, gunpowder tea is made up of leaves hand rolled into tiny pellets, as they resemble gunpowder. So it gives its tea the name. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this one. Um, it's just a simple green tea, and I really really like it. So um, uh, yeah, I think this is one that I wouldn't mind adding to my collection just to have you know for days when I just want something just very low key not any kind of blend nothing too overly taste you know with not a lot to it so um yeah I'm going to say that I loved this one and we'll be adding it to my wish list all right so one more in this little grouping <laughs> um which is this is probably how this is gonna go I'm gonna be doing multiple days like multiple teas on certain days just because how my schedule goes sometimes but um yeah so uh stay tuned we're gonna jump right into day six all right guys we're here with our final tea which is our november 16th well, our final tea for this group <laughs> <laughs> and this is our black tea that has orange, rose hips, hibiscus, ginger, cloves, cardamom, natural caramel flavor, cocoa nibs, natural chocolate flavor, natural vanilla flavor, natural cinnamon flavor, natural orange flavor, cinnamon, aniseed spice, and cocoa nibs. That's a lot of stuff. So, of course, it just looks like a black tea, um, a little bit, you know, just like an amber color, um, kind of light for a black tea, I guess. Well, I don't know, kind of normal. Um, I've seen some of our black teas that have been a little bit darker, but anyways. And I definitely, I definitely smell the chocolate in it. Um, I'm not sure if I smell anything else. I smell the chocolate and the cocoa nibs. You know, the cocoa nibs kind of have that like distinct like smell. And that's all I really smell. Maybe a little bit of vanilla too. So I'm going to just sip it and taste. So I get a little bit of the cardamom. And a little tiny bit of chocolate. I don't really get anything else. And sometimes when they cool off, I start to taste other things. Like when they're hot, I don't taste as much. But... I don't know so a lot in it but I don't taste a lot except for like the chocolate and maybe the cardamom and I 
and maybe just a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's take a look. All right, so this tea is called Tiger Spice. It is a fandom blend. Um, it has to do with, uh, I looked it up, and I, it's a video game, I think, um, called, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I looked it up, but now I can't remember. Um, I'm not even familiar with it because I'm not really a gamer person, so I don't know a lot of video games except for, like, you know, the obvious ones that are out there, like, you know, Mario Brothers and Zelda and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not very familiar with this. Um, but it just, um, it talks a little bit about the blend and about the, you know, it says a full body chocolate orange wonder that will give you just the caffeine boost you need to bust out of prison. <laughs> so it obviously has something to do with the video game. Um, I had to look it up because I wasn't sure if it was a video game or an anime or what it was. So anyways, um, that is what this one is. It's okay. It's not something I would order just because it's not, oh, <laughs> computer went off. It's not something like, it's just, I don't know. Like I don't taste everything that's in the tea uh, or that it says is listed. Um, and that could just be me. I, you know, I don't really pick out a lot of flavors and teas and whatnot. Um, but anyways, so that is our November 6th tea. Um, the, and so just stay tuned <laughs> to my channel and hopefully I'll keep up with these. I may, I, I will definitely get behind. I already know I will. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was really long because we had so many teas to taste. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon.